this is a story I wanted to talk about because I saw I was like, holy crap, it happened at this time. Eddie Guerrero went to Eric Bischoff and asked for his release, but Bischoff refused and actually yelled at him, although he later apologized. This was the famous incident where Bischoff allegedly threw his coffee at Guerrero, although Eddie later said that he just knocked it off the desk by accident when he was slamming his fist on the desk while yelling. But he sure made it really dramatic on TV. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't they make a, an angle out of that in WWE? Uh, he, I don't think they made an angle. He mentioned it a couple yeah, times. Well, somebody said there was there was a scene where somebody like poured coffee on themselves. It was like, I want my release. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't remember uh, that off the top of my head. Yeah, I got. Must have been a quick one and done thing. Yeah, that was a very inside baseball kind of thing too, because that wasn't like you know. I mean, if you weren't reading dirt sheets, you didn't know anything about this. But yeah, or watching being the elite. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. It sounds like something that would be on being the elite. Actually, <laughs> this one, like Bischoff has come out because like Conrad roasted him about. It. He's like, "Did you seriously throw your coffee at Eddie?" And he's like, "No." Like, look, I know that Eddie, you know, I, I never heard any stories about, like, Eddie being super unprofessional, like, with management and stuff like that. But, I mean, he's called Latino Heat for a reason. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> I, I, I don't see him being cool with Eric Bischoff throwing coffee on him if that actually happened. So I have a feeling that he would have beat the crap out of Bischoff and then got escorted out of the building by security or police, one of the two. Uh, yeah, and and I can't imagine Bischoff being stupid enough to throw coffee on Eddie. But yeah, obviously, especially Eddie, if he wasn't going to release him. <laughs> right. Yeah. If, if he was going to do that, I imagine it'd be like a running like as he's running by, he flips coffee on him. You're fired, <laughs> and then keeps and takes off. Sounds like a bad comedy. Uh, being the elite. Anyway, um, yeah, Eddie obviously wouldn't get released until. The end of 99, beginning of or beginning of 2000, actually. So this was not going to go anywhere. Sorry, right. I made for a good segment on Nitro. Nowhere. Yeah. 